All right, hey everyone, Gratuitous here, and in this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and review of the Fine Fine K037 wireless lavalier microphone, okay? So you could be using this microphone to be plugging into a DSLR camera, and you could walk around. That way, you're not restricted to being close to your camera for the high quality audio. They have quite an affordable solution, which is right here, compared to some other uh, companies within the industry. You know, a lot of the other companies, their products are like $300, whereas this is more in like the $50 range, which is really, really incredible. So when we do a review, we'll see how it performs. So again, this is the K037 model. So let's just open it up here. So inside, you get a little card about their business. I also read on the back that if you registered on their website, uh, you get a two-year two warranty, okay? So it's just a little card. You have the manual walking you through how to set it all up. So let's look at the actual product. So here you have the actual unit right here. You have the actual microphone. So this is quite unique how this plugs in. It's just with an XLR mini connection. This is the wireless uh, receiver that you plug into the actual camera. Okay, and uh, if you're plugging it into the camera, you, have, you get a little uh, adapter here. And it goes from that quarter inch, which is right here, and then this would plug into your camera. And then it also comes with the batteries to get you going. So by buying this product, everything comes included. You can get up and running right away. Okay, so let's just do a little overview of what we have so far. So this is what follows you. It has a clip on the back and the microphone plugs into the top right here. And then if you wanted to be plugging it into like a DSLR camera, you have to be using this attachment. It just plugs in. And then this is what's gonna plug into your camera. And then we have the actual uh, lapel mic itself, the lavalier right here. Uh, and then it also comes with the batteries, okay? So let's plug it in and let's hear how it sounds. Hello. You should be able to hear me. Okay, so this is the microphone right here. The other end of it is just clipped onto my jeans with the clip. Um, and then this is what the actual camera looks like. So as you can see, it's plugged in right into the microphone jack of the camera. And this thing is just dangling. I do think that they could approach this a little bit differently by even putting like a clip or like a thread. Uh, that way we can uh, thread in like a hot shoe. So it's just like this. And this would just go onto the very, very top of the camera right here. That way this thing isn't just dangling and you know, it's not too heavy. So it's not putting like tons of stress on the microphone jack, but you know, I think there could be a better solution there. But anyway, so this is what it sounds like. Um, typically when I do record audio with a camera, I plug in uh, a type of recorder. So for example, I use like the H4N Zoom um, and that allows me to get higher quality audio because typically DSLR cameras, they have poor preamps and they introduce a lot of hiss into the signal. So when I plugged it in, it looked like this had a lot of gain just by itself. So um, typically with a camera, a DSLR camera, you want to set it to manual mode, put it all the way to mute, and then maybe notch it up one or two. That way the preamps of the camera aren't introducing uh, noise into the audio signal. So right now this is just what this actual microphone sounds like. Um, so I'm not doing any processing or anything like that. I will show you later when I do process, I'll show you like a before and after. For example, if I just boost up the gain to make it loud for the listener versus using EQ and compression to help kind of, you know, fine tune that vocal or the audio recording. So I'm just gonna walk around here and this is what it's, you know, what it sounds like. So, you know, this is really cool if you're doing types of tutorials, like let's say, um, you know, you're into tools or into baking or whatever, you know, a, a wireless microphone allows the audio signal to always be you know, high quality no matter where you go. Um, this has quite a long uh, radius. Um, I'll put right here like uh, what it says on their product page about the distance and stuff like that. But again, this is just what it sounds like, okay? So I'm gonna come up closer. Now within my video editing program, I'm going to edit the audio uh, to fine tune it to make it sound a little bit more professional with EQ and compression and stuff like that. This is to do with any microphone you'd ever use when you're recording, even if it's like very, very expensive microphones and studios, you are always gonna EQ and compress to help improve that audio signal, right? So this is what it sounds like right now. I've used EQ and compression and stuff on the vocal. Just to give you an idea of like the before and after, if you were to do some uh, post processing, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go edit the video. I'm gonna hear uh, the quality of this audio signal. So I, I haven't heard it myself. And then I'll give you guys a review of what I think 
you know, for the price point in terms of your audio quality and what it sounds like, okay? Okay, so I'm back from testing uh, the audio in the video editing program. So as you can hear, this audio is very, very pleasing to the ears. As you can hear, it's very quiet as well as the bass response. It picks up kind of like the low end of my voice a lot more naturally. In my opinion, it just sounds more pleasing to the ears. Whereas when we used um, the lavalier microphone, so this one is uh, the Fine Fine, and it's the one that has the XLR uh, input, okay? So again, I really don't like how they approached it this way because you're kind of restricted to using only their lapel microphone, whereas if they had a 3.5 millimeter uh, plug-in, you could be using your own lapel. So what I wanna try is I actually brought up my own lapel. It's just a cheap one I found off of Amazon, and this H4N Zoom, this is what I'm talking into right now, it's just plugged in just with a an audio cord just right into the camera. If I plug in just a third party uh, lapel microphone into this, I want you to hear how that microphone sounds in compared to uh, the Fine Fine, okay? Okay, so this third party lapel microphone, again, it's the 3.5 millimeter and it plugs in right into the back of this H4N. So I'm just gonna plug that in. Okay, so now you should be hearing the audio through the, the lapel microphone. Now, it's important to take into account with a lapel microphone and any microphone, wherever you're placing it, that's what you're gonna get in a sense of your audio. So for example, if this lapel microphone was closer to my mouth, we would get less bass response because the bases come from like your chest and kind of like your throat area, right? So I, that's why I've put this lapel microphone at pretty much the same location as the fine, fine one. And now you can hear the difference. Again, now what's happening is the lapel is going into the H4N and then this is just going into uh, the camera just through an audio cable and that's it, okay? So if I unplug this lapel, we're gonna hear how that sounds. Okay, so now we're back to the H4N. Again, I really, really like the sound quality of this microphone. It sounds very, very good. Um, I'm gonna try one more test with you guys. I'm gonna plug the Fine Fine into here, which then plugs into the camera, okay? Because again, so all I have to do is just plug this into here, and now I could be using the Fine Fine the same way through the camera. I just want to hear to see if there was a difference uh, in between plugging it in directly versus going in through a higher quality recorder. Because again, I was telling you about DSLR cameras have poor preamps. And so it's introducing that extra noise and hiss. Because again, if you want to get high quality audio out of your camera, you want to put the actual audio to, to manual. You're going to be putting it to mute and then you just put it up one or two notches and then you're using a type of preamp to help boost that signal. And when I plugged in the fine fine, I could see that the signal was quite loud. So therefore this is telling me that this had some type of audio boosting going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug the fine fine directly into the H4N and we're gonna hear how the fine fine sounds this way to see if it gives us a little bit of a better sound. Um, but I will say right off the bat, um, you could hear that the fine fine was really, really lacking in bass. Um, it sounded a little bit cheap, um, but you know, with my EQ settings and compression settings, I do feel that I improved it quite a bit, um, but it was still lacking in terms of like, for example, this H4N here. Now, I haven't tried, you know, the super, super high quality brands when it comes to uh, these lavalier uh, wireless products such as like Sennheiser and stuff like that. But again, you know, the price of this is like $50 compared to a Sennheiser, which is like, you know, $300. So that's, that's quite expensive in compared to this solution. So I will say right off the bat though, that this is an awesome product for the price. You know, as you can see, I could walk around the kitchen. The audio quality is quite you know, it's quite good. It's it, in my opinion, it's acceptable by no means is it extremely, you know, awesome sounding, but with some EQ and compression settings, you can improve upon it. And therefore you can be walking around in your tutorials or your courses or whatever you're wanting to use a wireless lavalier for. Okay. So let's just do the last test and let's just hear how it sounds. Okay. Okay. And I just want to quickly talk about how this unit works. Okay. So at the front, there's the on and off. You have to hold it down for like a second and the unit will turn on. When it is off, this light of the receiver turns green, okay? So right now it's red. Um, and then when it's off, it will turn green. Now, here you have on the very top of it, you have a button called set, okay? And what that does is when I push it, it's just gonna change the frequency channel. So 
if where you're trying to record, if you're getting some kind of uh, you know background hiss or something like that, some kind of static from another signal, you can hit the set. It's going to change your signal, and uh, that's it. Okay. So in order to record, it all it is honestly really really simple. All you have to do is just turn this on, turn on the receiver, plug it into your camera, and then make sure that within your camera uh, that you're actually receiving audio input. Okay. So within your camera, many times you can hit like an info button a couple times, and then you'll see an audio meter. And if it is working then you're good to go. Okay, so I'm plugged back into the Fine Fine Lavalier microphone, okay? So as you can see, if I touch it, this is it. Whereas the H4n is not working. So what I've done is I've plugged in the wireless receiver into the H4n, as you can see right here, and I'm talking into the Lavalier uh, Fine Fine microphone. So again, the actual attachment is just right here and I put that on my pants, and now I can walk around again. So again, now I'm just testing out to hear how it sounds in terms of um, being plugged into the H4N to see if that's any difference. Again, you know, it was kind of lacking in terms of bass response, but I'm really interested to hear uh, the difference between this lavalier microphone I had, which was the 3.5, okay, compared to the microphone that they have included, Fine Fine, okay, that has the uh, mini XLR uh, plug-in. So what I'm going to do is let's just take this and let's just go a little bit closer to like my mouth. Okay, so let's just say we have it here. Let's just hear the audio quality. Um, you know, some people, you know, put it maybe like here. You know, just to give you ideas, um, I'm not outside. So, you know, we don't hear any wind or something like that. Uh, the fridge fan is on, just to give you an idea there too. But... Overall, this is what it sounds like, okay? So I hope you guys liked my overview and little review of the Fine Fine K037 uh, wireless lavalier microphone. Uh, in my opinion, I would say it's a buy. Um, you know, the audio quality is not significant, but you are paying for what you're getting. But again, with some EQ and compression, you can approve upon the audio quality, which is what you would be doing anyways, uh, regardless any microphone you're using okay so i'm gratuitous i'm an artist and producer based out of canada you guys can check out my music at gratuitousbeats.com so hopefully you guys enjoyed this overview and i may be using this microphone in future tutorials and courses and stuff like that